So now that we know how to create a data extension in Email Studio and in Contact Builder, let's actually create a standard data extension. So I'm already in Email Studio, but if you aren't in Email Studio, hover over this cloud and hover over Email Studio and click Email and you're brought to Email Studio. And let's hover over Subscribers and click Data Extensions. Then come to the top right portion of the screen and click Create and make sure standard data extension is selected and click OK. And in a standard data extension, you can create from a new data extension, an existing data extension, so you're pretty much just cloning a data extension that already exists, or you can create a data extension from a template. Let's go ahead and create from new. We'll cover these two in future videos. So let's click create from new, and let's name the data extension we can give it an external key and we can give it a description. And then you can choose where you want your data extension to live by clicking change location. And you can choose the data extension folder or the shared items folder, or you can create a new folder and then click OK. And you can choose whether or not this data extension is sendable. I'll go ahead and click that. And then you can choose a campaign to associate this data extension with and then click next. And then you can choose your data retention settings. We can choose on, and we can choose to delete individual records after a period of days. We can choose to delete all records and the data extension after a period of days, or we could choose to just delete all the records after a period of days. And we can change this number of days right here, or we could type it in right here, and then we could change it to days, weeks, months, and years. For now, we'll keep it at nine days. If you choose to delete all records and data extensions, you can reset the period on import. So on a certain day, let's say January 31st, 2020, you can reset the data extension on import. And then you can click next. And this is where you type in your fields for your data extension. Let's go ahead and type in first name, last name, occupation, gender, and let's type in city. And then last, let's type in email address. And let's select the data type as email address. And then let's make that the primary key. And then let's choose our send relationship to make the email address relate to subscribers on subscriber key. And let's click create. And up here at the top, we can search for our data extension. And we see our demo extension right here. And we see that it's sendable, it's a standard data extension, and it has a record count of zero. And that's how you create a standard data extension. Make sure that you follow along because we're going to have an activity at the end of this course, which is going to use everything that we're learning in this course to create a final project. So make sure you follow the steps in this video to create this data extension.